Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be answering the most asked question about poultry farming here in the Gambia. Yeah, we've been running our farm for about one year, four months now. And uh, a lot of people have been asking me about how to go about poultry farming. So I've put down uh, about a few questions on how we go about doing this poultry farming. And most of the questions that I'm going to be answering will be on or based on layer farming. Okay, so layer bats, because that's the one that we are keeping here in the Gambia. So the first question will be, how much does it cost to start a poultry here in the Gambia? The cost keeps changing all the time. The first, uh, uh, the time that we are starting, it was a lot more cheaper than, than it is right now. And right now, if you want to um, uh, do a farm of about a thousand bucks, that was going to cost you about $900,000. So half of that will go into the infrastructure. That is going to be the housing and also the, yeah, the housing, the feeders and the drinkers and also all the material that you're going to use to keep the house warm okay the remaining uh 450,000 will be on feeding and salary so the next question will be how long does it does it take for the bats to start laying that one is also a very quick frequent question and uh it, it varies okay if you uh, manage your bats very well you'll be able to uh, get your first eggs um, maybe after four months two weeks okay but the birds will be able to um, feed themselves like they'll be able to produce these eggs and feed themselves around the age of maybe five months and a half that's that, that's the time that you'll be able to make enough eggs and sell them to be able to feed the birds and the third question will be how long does it take um, to for these bats to lay okay how long does it do they keep on laying okay so usually you you call off this bat at the week or the age of maybe 80 to 100 weeks that would be about um two years okay that would be about maybe one year eight months to two years one month okay so depending on how you manage your bats and how you take care of them uh, that will determine how long this bat will stay it can also depend on the breed of the bats how uh, uh, the genetics of the bats, so the better bats will stay longer and produce better uh, and a lot more eggs than bats that are not, you know, that don't have good quality or they were not taking up uh, or, or grown up very uh, well, okay? And the next question would be, um, how many staff will you need to uh, maybe uh, hire, how many people will you need to hire to uh, maybe manage your bats? If you're going with deep litter, and deep litter is when uh, you you allow the bats to maybe uh, walk around freely within their house, so that is deep litter, and the other system will be cages. Okay, with the cage you will have like kind of a cage where bats will be permanently uh, in that cage. So with deep litter you will need about a staff, at least one staff every 500 bats. Okay, so for us we have uh, 1,000 bats. About 1,000 bats we keep two staff but i cannot add one more just to be on a safer side because deep leader is really labor intensive so one 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 staff got sick or maybe is missing or maybe do not turn up turn up on time it becomes really hard for one person to take care of all the bad because you want to give them uh, water early morning like around the times of uh, 7 to 8 8 a.m because by that time the bats are already up and fully allotted they're eating and they also want to drink a lot of uh, water okay because a lot of water that they drink will make the amount of eggs that are produced in that um that day yeah or, or the following day so you want to make sure that these bats have time have water on time and also feed on time so i i always want to make sure that i have at least two people on on in the farm so i have two permanent staff and one uh, yeah, there's cyber over there and one person on standby. So if you are going with uh, the cage system Maybe one staff will be able to manage up to thousands of bats and also uh, like some people ask is it really necessary to do um, uh, to Vaccine the bats. Yeah uh, to vaccine the bats. Yes, if you're in Africa, especially in the West Africa the part that we are living you really have to vaccine these bats because these bats uh, uh, are surrounded with local bats uh, in the community. I see right around me in a lot of uh, houses around. You need to make sure these bats are vaccinated against uh, Gumboro, Newcastle, and also 
foul pot. All right. So some people also will ask me, uh, what kind of feed do you give your birds? Like for layer birds, you have different different kind of feed uh, at different ages. A day old, you're gonna give them starter feed. Next one will be growers. Okay. The next feeder will be grower and you're gonna give them growers all the up to maybe four months all the up to when they get to four months and then you give them three layers okay if they are layer bats you're gonna give them three layers at after when they get to four months and the pre layer will be given to them for about two weeks okay that will get them to four months two weeks so by the time you are finishing up giving them uh pre layers they will start dropping eggs so that would uh help them to mature up and start preparing their egg laying uh, mechanism to whatsoever is gonna that is gonna help them to lay eggs to mature before you give them layer back or layer mass okay you got layer mass will push them to start laying so if the bass are not fully mature yet you give them layer mass it might affect them because it's really painful to lay eggs and these bats will lay eggs about every uh, 24 hours okay so you really want them to get mature before you start giving them uh layer mass okay all right so another question that is also common is um why do we keep changing uh, our our shoe okay why do we keep changing our shoe so some people will just have deeply uh deeping they'll just have uh, a disinfectant right at the gate of the uh the house okay when you're entering the 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 uh the poultry house Okay, for us, what we do, what we do is you change your shoe. So about maybe 50 meters or 20 meters away from the garden door, you're gonna pick up the shoe. The shoe that you used to go out will be left somewhere. And once you get to about 20 meters before you get to the uh, poultry house, or in fact the garden gate, okay, where the the, the birds are, you're gonna drop your shoe there and pick another shoe. So that shoe will take you all the way to. Uh, the gate when you're entering the garden so you're gonna leave that shoe there and you pick another shoe that's gonna be the second shoe so the second shoe will take you all the way up to the door of the poultry house and you drop that shoe one once you're getting inside the poultry house that's what you, where you're gonna put in another shoe that will be always stationed inside the poultry house and then you use that when you're walking around with the birds when you're giving them feed when you're uh, maybe uh, inspecting them when they are also uh, maybe giving them water once you are inside that poultry house you always have to make sure you put on that shoe okay so that's what we do here in our farm but it also works to just uh, have uh, your shoe dipped before you walk in but the reason why we don't want to go with that is we are not sure the quality of our mixture uh, like the disinfectant that they use we use okay so we just want to make sure that the shoe that you use to go out is never inside or around the poultry house so those are the most questions that I usually have okay uh, um, like that's what, what most people ask me there are a lot more so I'm gonna try to put them together and maybe do part two of this video I hope you enjoyed this video and also we'll be trying to do live videos on this question and answers where people will just come in ask their question and we all answer them in a live uh, yeah in a live video and don't forget to watch out our videos on TikTok. we are also trying to show you what we do here in the Gambia in a short form on TikTok. But we post some of them in YouTube shots as well. See you in the next video.